Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Secure Connect training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can use the mobile app that we have in order to connect to the target, which in this case will be the HMI that needs to be programmed in EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. So let's go to the software. So the first thing that we need to do is to enable the web viewer that we have for the HMI. So if we go to target <laughs> target if we go to the option advance here we have the data access in the data access we just need to enable the web viewer okay so this web viewer we can see in our smartphone the same application that we have on the actual hmi okay and we can control and operate and do everything that we do as we are connected to the HMI. So we need to enable that. We have the possibility to use security. That security will depend on what we have on the security. And let me just double check. This one is a long application. Here, do, 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 do. security. Here you can add all the users that you want in order to use them also in access to the web viewer. But that will be another story for another thing. In this case, what I'm going to do is to focus only in the uh, mobile app. So, uh, to target that access web viewer, enable the things, and it's important to remember the port. Okay, so once we download this to the target, okay, it's important to let me just open it. This is, I'm connected directly, in this case, my laptop to the HMI. In this application I have done, I need to enable the operation. I have already, in this particular case, I have used the DHCP. And I have already validated the web viewer. So, the web viewer is not free, you need an additional license for that, okay, for the web viewer. And it's sold in package of one, ten, and one hundred, and needs to be uh, activated manually on the HMI. Okay, the activation. Once you have done that, what you need to do is to activate the Secure Connect Advisor. I already made a video about this, but basically you need the Gate Manager address. Okay, and then use the domain token. That basically this is depend on how is the configuration on your uh, gate manager and then the application name save and restart in case you have any issue okay just start again with any initialization okay and that will be it okay so what i have done so far is to have the web viewer in the local network okay and it's working fine so what we need to do now is to access remotely for that we need to configure the HMI to be used on the Secure Connect. So for that, what I have is this virtual machine. So I have access to my Secure Connect account, um, and I have this domain CCC level two, and I have my user for mobile. Okay. So as soon as you have the connection to the Ethernet with your HMI, okay, and all the parameters that I shown in this part in this part are correct you should be able to see the application or applica applicants the appliance name hmi EOT or the one that you define okay in the list of your domain okay now in order to connect and using the app that I'm going to show you later, what you need to do is to assign a license. So along with your package of the Secure Connect, you should be able to have one that is for the mobile. That you just need to assign the license. In my case, I already assigned it. Okay. So what you need to do now is go to the uh, HMI EOT here. Once you select the HMIOT, we just need to open the site manager. So once you open the site manager, you should be able to configure 
the HMI or no, the agents that allow you to access to the HMI mobile app. So edit by default, you have this one. Okay. And then what I recommend you to add this one, one device name called web viewer. So we can access to the web viewer and then web access, the device type generic web access. And then here to make this definition. Okay. Dash the PC colon 8082, which is the, uh, the port that we need to enable. And then the path, this is going to be path equal web viewer forward slash index dot HTML. Okay. Which is basically the configuration back. So once you configure that, then you should be able to access here remotely to the target. Now let's go to the, uh, to the smartphone. So I can show you. It's in the other screen. Okay. So here, so I have the remote connection to my phone. So you can see it's there. So what we can do, the first thing is to update this application, which is the EcoStructure Industrial Device. Okay, it is for a lot of things, but in this particular case, I'm going to show you how to make the secure connection. So uh, remember, this is available from the version 2.4. Okay, so you need to update if you don't have it. So what we're going to do is to add, select product, HMI. You just need to read all this stuff. Name, um, testing. And here you have the possibility to use the secure connect. So secure connect. Here we just need to use the um, the gate manager, and the gate manager is the one that we have. Uh, just bear with me. This one over here. So gate manager. Just put the back this get manager dot schneider forward slash electric dot com username is gonna be mine username in this case mobile and the username is here ATR mobile I'll just put the camera here and then the password, the password that you should already find. Um, I think it's this one. Um, okay. And then you should be able to see the devices that you are in your domain. Okay, so in my case, this is a domain I already find on the HMI target. Um, where I can show you this, which is the domain this, okay, and I have the two application full access and web viewer. Just trying to find you with the smartphone, but it's in here. So what we need to do is to connect to the web viewer because we already have the path and everything to connect. Okay, I understand. You should you should read all this. Okay, and then we just connect. And if everything goes well, we should be able to see this. Okay, so on here I can operation and touch with the HMI and play around with this. You can see that it works. Um, in my case, I believe I'm not connected with anything. Um, yeah, I'm going to do with the PLC. <laughs> so, um, oh, okay, yeah, just the idea that you can control. So, um, as you can see, you can go back and you can see this. Okay, so um, it is important that you define the in the HMI everything to connect with the secure connect, and then it is important that you define the path. Just show it once again 
probably the syntax. Site mana shop. Just refresh this. Just need to connect again. Um, do, 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 do. Site mana shop. I just want to show you the, the syntax that you need to use. Because if you don't have it, it's going to be complicated. So it's important to define any name that you want in there. No problem at all. But it's important to define genetic web access. And here, go to PC, which is the one that was already defined by default. The port that you're going, that you're going to use. And then the access for the web viewer. Okay, and that should be it. Okay, so um, let me just put this. So this is how we can use the mobile app that we recently have for the remote access to the web viewer of the HMI. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one. Oh.